Hey, it's another great day in Cota de Casa. I'm in my backyard, and here, this little guy, he looks like a worm. He's really a larvae from a moth. It's called a yellow-striped army worm. But more specifically, he's a western yellow-striped army worm. Spidoptera prefica, or prefica, either way is fine. And you notice he's got these uh, little diamond-shaped markings kind of going down the back here. And he's got a really faint line right at the top. So the western variety we have here has like this brownish line right at the top. And the eastern variety has a really prominent yellow line. So this guy here, he's kind of the California rendition of our Spidoptera. Little larvae here. He's going to turn into a little uh, moth. So, take a look at this guy. Usually he's got this little diamond shape kind of coloration here. Little triangular markings along each side. And a little line down the back. Okay. And his head kind of looks like a little inverted V. Look at that guy. Right there. Wow. Anyway. So he uh, lives in the soil. A little thin line of silk. And then um, he gets to be about 18 millimeters in length. Usually like... 12 to 18 days before he goes into the next cycle of his existence here. So he's going to mature into a little moth. Right? This guy here is the parent. What our little moth will look like. And those little moths live, uh, I think, um, not very long. Maybe 15 days, maybe a month. Anyway. Thought I'd share that with you today. Our little western yellow striped army worm. He's a bad guy though too. Lots of damage to your crops and kind of almost eat anything. It's herbaceous. You eat your asparagus, your beans, your beets, your cantaloupes, your carrots, lentil, grapes, clover, sugar beets. So he's a nasty bugger to have out here. But he is what he is. All right, so anyway, hope you liked that video. Have a great day. Bye.